Hi everyone! In today's To Be To Go video, we're going to take a look at some tips and tricks for avoiding to feed the bed. So if you're a new to be parent, what does this mean and how does it happen? Well, feeding the bed typically means that your feed extension and your feeding bag tip have come apart and instead of the food going from your feed bag into your tubie's tummy, it is now leaving this feed bag and being sprayed all over wherever you're feeding. Um, for many parents who have tube feeders who have to feed continuously overnight, that means that they have now fed the bed and come back to a disaster in the morning. <laughs> Hence the coined term of feeding the bed. So the other reason that you might feed the bed is the feeding tip and the extension stay together, but the feed, or sorry, the med port on the extension pops open. And now again, instead of going into the tummy, it is coming out of the med port and feeding the bed. So what can you do to avoid this? Well, there's a couple different things depending on which issue it is that you're experiencing, whether it's the disconnect or the med port coming open. So I have to admit that feeding the bed or the issue of the disconnect between a feed bag and extension isn't really so much of an issue for Magnus here. Um, Magnus doesn't really have any gross motor skills, so he's not mobile at all. And he also doesn't have any fine motor skills to be interested in playing around with the extension or the feed bag tubing. Um, so we don't have this issue, but I've often come across comments about feeding the bed and I've seen a lot of tips from different moms that I've compiled so I wanted to that to wanted to share that with the feeding tube community uh, today in case it is something that you're experiencing. So why would feeding the bed be an issue? Um, <laughs> cute Magnus. Uh, feeding the bag it sorry feeding the bed is an issue oftentimes because um, either your tube feeder is curious um, and likes to play around with their feeding extension or the feed bag tubing while they have a feed going and they might pull it apart um, they may just be very mobile and moving around to the point where it gets tugged and disconnects um, sometimes the rubbing motion of the spot where the med port um, is plugged in ends up getting rubbed off so that the med port uh, opens up while they're feeding and ends up with feed coming back out. <laughs> um, and one of the most common reasons is you might have a tube feeder who is on continuous feeds and therefore needs to feed overnight. And with all the tossing and turning, um, it can be an issue uh, where the disconnect happens sometime overnight and parents will come back to a very soaked bed in the morning because they have fed the bed. So just for reference, this is what the newer feed bag style tips look like with the end fit connector at the end as well as the white Christmas tree adapter that slips into your normal extension set. But for reference, this is what an old feed bag tip looked like before they became end fit compatible. Um, they are the red Christmas trees and these do not screw off and there is no option to change it to an NFIT compatible feed bag tip. Um, if you still have these, you might want to check the expiration date on these as they might be coming up due or they may already be expired because this is an older style. Although this is what I've been told this uh, red style tip does stay into the typical extension set port better than the new white Christmas trees but again they're being phased out so probably won't see this style around much longer. Everything is switching over to the white tips 
which are NFIT compatible. This is an example of your typical continuous feed extension set for a Mini One button. Looks the same for a Mickey button, except that the uh, ports aren't purple, but same concept. So this is where when you have a feed bag tip and it's pushed into the extension port that they can be relatively easy to disconnect. So one of the most reliable options for avoiding feeding the bed is called NFIT connections and they look something like this. So you can see the difference with the ports is the type of connector that's at the end. So the way that you would change to an NFIT compatible system is you would order uh, your NFIT extension sets and then you would take your typical feed bag tip and you can unscrew this Christmas tree, the white adapter at the end and you're left with this little purple piece. And this is gonna be what screws into your NFIT compatible extension. So you can feel, once you've screwed it in securely, there's no way that um, without a twisting motion that these two uh, connections are going to separate. So this is going to be your most reliable uh, solution for disconnecting ports unless your little one manages to have the fine motor skills to actually unscrew it um, with several twisting motions. Another issue that I've heard flagged with the NFIT connectors is if you have this continuous feed extension set with the two ends, this cap that is meant to be stuck on um, the end of the NFIT connector here may still pop off and end up feeding the bed. Um, so the solution that I've heard that fixes this problem best if the cap popping off is an issue is to take one of the caps off of a ferrule bag and actually screw it in much the way that this would screw in so that there is something there plugging that uh, med port and avoiding from feeding the bed. But if you do have something connected in and fit style like the feed bag you can be rest assured that it's not going to get pulled apart accidentally or just from rubbing um, come apart. Especially if you twist it in quite tight, it's going to be very secure and need quite a bit of effort to untwist. The other option if you don't want to deal with the med port and you're not on continuous feeds is there are the equivalent bolus feed extension sets um, that are NFIT compatible as well. So in this case, you only have one port to worry about and you don't have to worry about a second port feeding the bed. So again, this is the NFIT connection uh, option and it's very secure, not gonna pop off and end up feeding the bed. So this might be the best solution, but it might not be readily available for everybody depending on what your supply company offers. Um, and it also means if you're going to have these NFIT uh, extension sets that you're going to need NFIT uh, compatible syringes as well rather than using your typical oral syringes these ones are going to have to screw in um, so that again you don't accidentally push meds um, that are going to pop out of the normal ports so there's all sorts of different sized and fit syringes that would be compatible with these and fit extension sets and that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to have and fit um, syringes but there are options where there are adapters as well where you can put onto the and fit end so this is a port cover um, a port cover is meant to cover your connections to help prevent them from disconnecting. But I imagine it's probably most useful to distract from curious hands that might pull the connections apart 
or really if your food is leaking as a result of the ports rubbing up against things that might cause something like the med port to pop open. Port covers come in many different fabrics and designs. Um, this is just one example, but typically it is made up of a fabric piece with some sort of snaps to allow for easy on and off around your ports. Um, if you face it inwards, the med port on the inside of the port cover, that's going to help prevent the med port from rubbing up against things and opening up. But again, as I mentioned, if your ports are coming undone um, just because they're not staying in firmly, or if your 2B is going to be yanking on them and it's not properly secure, you're gonna see that a port cover is probably not gonna be the solution that fixes your problem. So here I have it loosely connected and you can see it's it's still going to come apart. Um, so for that reason for disconnecting ports you'll probably want to consider a different option but a port cover is going to be one of the easiest and cheapest options to consider um, depending on why it is your ports are disconnecting. Again as I mentioned it's really to just conceal the parts from curious hands and so hopefully they don't have the dexterity or the fine motor skills to undo the snaps the same way that they might have the ability to just undo the ports. Especially if you want to keep the clamp inside the port cover as well, then that's another source of um, feeding the bed. They're available on Etsy, on Facebook um, groups, on Amazon. If you look up G2 port covers, uh, any of those search terms, you should be able to find something similar to this. This option is called a Tubi Guard. Um, it is a lightweight plastic almost I guess you would call like a container to contain a combination of a feed bag tip and an extension port. Um, currently Tubi guards are only designed and patent pending for two different type of extension sets and tips. Um, that's the Mickey and the Mini extensions as well as the Infinity and Kangaroo set feed bags. So the way that this works is you would connect your feed extension into the feed port. You're going to want to make sure that the med port is closed and that your clamp is far enough away so that it's not going to interfere with inserting it into the tubi guard. And all you do is very simply slip it into the tubi guard. See if I could do this. It is going to be a snug fit because it's not meant to be able to come out, hence helping you avoid feeding the bed. So I'm going to press it all the way in. Make here a couple clicks, and you can see that the med port is very secured into that little slot, so it's not going to pop open the cap on the med port and accidentally feed the bed bed through there and because of the snug fit um, it's not going to pop out of this tubi guard so this will help prevent from feeding the bed uh, just because it's secured in there um, and much like the Enfit solution I just don't see a way that it's going to accidentally disconnect through pressure or from some tugging motion um, you really have to pry it out, especially this end here with the plastic. Okay, so this is very, very lightweight, which I like. It's not going to weigh down the extension set or, you know, if it does accidentally um, go up to the head level of your 2B, I don't see any sharp edges. And again, it's lightweight, so 
I really like this solution and it hopefully should just be a one-time purchase. Again, it's very snug. I'm just going to push it all the way down. But again, right now it's not universal. It's only designed for Mickey, Minnie, Kangaroo, and an, an Infinity Bag combination. So if you have a peg tube or a different type of extension um, that is longer than what this is designed for, this isn't going to be a feasible option for you as a solution. This option is called a AMT clamp. It is a securement device that you can source through medical suppliers. Again, manufactured by AMT. The way that it works is you take your feed extension and your feed bag tip. You're gonna put them together as securely as you can. And then you take your clamp, which has two ends that open up. It's just made out of silicone and it's very stretchy and you take the little end and you're going to put it at the bottom of your extension you're going to secure it by wrapping this silicone fastener into a little groove that exists on the AMT clamp and it just sits into a groove and secures itself and then you want to stretch the other end all the way to the feed bag tip. And that large end is going to wrap around just past the white tip of your Christmas tree. And again, you're going to take this silicone piece and wrap it around and let it sit in the groove where it's going to be secured. And now your two ports are connected and Again, secured from being disconnected through tugging or rubbing against other material that might cause it to disconnect. So this is very stretchy. Again, it's silicone, um, but it does have a lot of pull to keep the two ends secured together. My one comment um, with this is that if your one of the reasons that you're feeding the bed is the med port opening up by accident, then this AMT clamp is not going to be the proper solution for avoiding feeding the bed. It will only avoid the two ports from disconnecting, not from your uh, med port from opening up. So a tubey guard or a port cover might be a better option if the med port opening up is one of the reasons that you find yourself feeding the bed. Also this AMT clamp, uh, depending on whether you have insurance coverage for it, I believe will get stretched out over time and need replacement versus some of the other options that are going to be more durable. So to detach it, you would just do the opposite. You have this um, little flap that you're going to pull back out. And this will unwrap. And you're going to do the same thing on the other end. I'm just going to undo that little piece and slip it back out. And now you've got your AMT clamp that you can reuse for your next feed. Another option for avoiding disconnecting ports is a DIY option, a do-it-yourself option. Um, I've seen a couple posts that I've gotten inspiration from where you just find a suitable size container. Uh, this one is one that was used for flossers. Sorry for that interruption. I'm sure most of you recognize what that beeping sound was. I just had to go fix the feed pump. Anyways, uh, this is a DIY option where you find a container that is a suitable size for your particular uh, pairing of tip, feed bag tip and extension, whether you have a peg type extension or one of the classic 
mini one or uh, sorry just mini or Mickey type feed sets but what you can do is you can find a container whether it's a soapbox container some sort of toothbrush container this one is for flossers and what I've done is because it's a thin plastic I've just taken a uh, single hole punch and punched out um, a little hole at the end for the tubing to go into. So I've done that on both ends. And I found that this was a really great size container um, for this particular mini and in infinity feed bag set. And once you have it enclosed in there, um, then again, very similar to what some of the other solutions are. The two connections are in theory not going to snap apart. Um, I will say that this is slightly too short, um, so the, the cap kind of wants to pop open, so this is not a suitable solution unless I tape it shut. Um, but. This is just to demonstrate a DIY option where if you can find a suitable container, then you can really craft your own um, solution for disconnecting ports. So to summarize the solutions that I've reviewed in this video, there is a port cover option, which is probably one of the cheapest and most universal solutions, but is not going to help disconnecting ports if it's as a result of uh, force behind the ports disconnecting, if there's tugging motion, or if it's just curious hands that have the fine motor skills to undo this solution. There are NFIT connections. Um, which will require a whole change in supplies from your medical supplier and as well you might have to consider a change in the type of syringes that you use to administer medications. There is a tubi guard which is a great solution, lightweight plastic, it's a patent pending solution but it is not universal. It is only available right now for certain combinations of Infinity and Kangaroo feed bags to go with the Mini and Mickey extension sets. Um, but it is a great solution if that's what you are using. It will make sure that the med port stays closed as well as the two ports on your feed bag and your feed extension stay, stay secured together. There is the AMT clamp option, which is fairly universal because it will stretch um, to adapt for whatever ports that you are using, any combination, even if it's a peg tube, I believe this will stretch to adapt. However, it may not be as durable as some of the options because of the stretching, the silicone will wear over time and need to be replaced. Also, this is not a proper solution if you're feeding the bed because the med port is coming open. And then this is just an example of a DIY option where you find a suitable container um, to put in your combination of ports or connections. And uh, you're gonna have to punch out a hole, whether it's by hole punch or filing it down um, with a nail saw of sorts. So those are some of the options. Hopefully one of them you will find useful. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to me, um, whether it is through the uh, To Be To Go um, Facebook page. Otherwise, please consider su subscribing to our YouTube channel for more tips, hacks, and tricks when it comes to tube feeding.